don't be stressed don't you're in the uk legally so you paid for this like own it it's your right to enter it's your right to pass that border so do not let any forces stop you you know hi guys my name is yeti and welcome to another episode of yeti splash 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 in my telegram circle it is raining visa a lot like people are getting their visas admissions are rolling in class is dropping CIS is dropping from some people it's just good news and good vibes so i decided to make this video to tell you things you need to know before landing in the united kingdom so if you're planning your travel or you're relocating very soon or you've bought your plane ticket which i have is very expensive now but Either way, Sha, if you're on this jackpot journey, then watch this video before you bought that plane, okay? So on today's episode of Yeti Splash, I'll be sharing with you things you need to know before relocating to the United Kingdom. Guys, number one is at the immigration center. I am not even encouraging bribery and corruption, but Nigeria Immigration Service will ask you money at almost every point. And I remember that during my time because my father is a very senior police officer. I couldn't, you know, I didn't pay money you will once they're asking me for money is right is there showing them his id card or he's saying let's put the call or some, something so i i didn't pay any money until i got to after when my daddy could no longer escort me because you get to a point where visitors are no longer allowed it is you your head into the journey do you understand so then i had like 500 in my bag and this lady was like eh, find us something and i don't even have to try i just want to be on i was looking at egypt air like this and i was like if it is you that is standing between me and my egypt air, just take this 500 and leave me alone so prepare yourself guys if you know that you can argue because i mean you are not even meant to give them money but if you know that you don't have the strength to argue and all of that please just Change like 3,000 or 6,000 era, 5,500 or 11K, anyone, and use it to do Sarah, sacrifice or, you know, just use it to dash people at the airport, Nigerian airport. Okay, another thing you also need to know about is your luggage. Guys, what are we packing? I was like, I'm to a friend of mine and I saw his bag and I'm like, Kilo di totoi. Like, why do you have such a big bag? Will you come in? What do you want to do with them? I understand that you want to pack everything because this is jackpot like and sometimes in you know in a hurry to pack everything we forget the most useful things that we need i'm going to make a detailed video of the essentials you need to pack very soon but please guys do not pack just try to minimize your luggage you see when it comes to clothing and stuff like that some people want to buy a winter jacket from nigeria how don't stress yourself once you come into the united kingdom you're gonna get it because i remember that me <laughs> i bought a whole box that i've not even opened and it's filled with ashwebi oh one bear proper lace nikkei's wedding shala's wedding my mother's wedding all the outfits for my friend's wedding i brought everything to the united kingdom all my ashwebi everything ask me where have i wanted to nowhere absolutely nowhere i just wasted that whole bag so guys and remember, when you buy Nigerian clothes and you come to the United Kingdom, you just feel like you cannot be wearing that here. The material, the quality, everything is just like so shit. Sorry, I used the word, but trust me, you want to come here and, you know, dress like a proper London girl and all of that, or a London guy. So minimize your packing. Rather than waste time buying clothes and all of that, save the money or you know buy minimal stuff then buy food stuff as well if you can but you don't have to really pack the whole of nigeria because there are african shops here as well just leave the excess luggage please like leave it another thing i will tell you is that old cash like when i'm in cash i mean pounds like you need to change money at the airport during my time i was really poor when i was coming i can't even lie like i don't have money with my fiance that give me like was it 80 pounds that he changed for me or like i came to this country Chimbaka. no money like i don't even want to go back to that story so but if you're coming to the united kingdom and you don't have like family members that will be picking you up at the airport and things like that then you need to have cash because your bank card your naira bank card might disappoint you so it's just best you change you know 200 to 500 pounds at least if you have up to that before coming into the united kingdom so it's important that you plan yourself hold cash old what old cash then another thing is plan your trip plan your trip once you come into the uk you need to have made plans on how you want to get into your location or your destination 
For example, you landed in Itro, but you're still going to somewhere like Shelfield Alam. Now, how do you get there? You have to plan your journey. Even if you land in Heathrow, how do you move around London? You have to plan your journey. If you don't have anybody coming to pick you up, then you can use services from your school. There is always services available like cab services. They will give you link how you can book like discount card. You just message your school or something. And if you don't do that, you can buy train ticket. But ensure that you plan your journey properly. And once you land into the airport, use the airport wi-fi immediately to connect don't say you have to come outside to buy sim card and all of that just connect immediately with you know the airport wi-fi and stay connected and try to like sort yourself out i've also made a very detailed video of apps international student so must have before landing into the united kingdom to be somewhere in this video but please try and look at it so you need to plan your trip properly and another thing i'll say is that once you get you know past once you're finally in the uk immigration border takes time depending on where you're flying and the airport you're landing really but now the rush is a whole lot like it's as if the whole of my village and even in the united kingdom which i'm super excited because i've got a lot of people coming in but then you know at the immigration point just be calm ensure that you've arranged your documents before and you know you're already in the uk people tend to lose it people tend to be nervous don't listen to people some will tell you that they ask them for proof of one some will tell them this some, just be calm have your essential document have your tuberculosis test have your cash letter have your visa have every document that you think is necessary arrange them be well organized be composed answer the questions they ask you some might not even ask you any question at all but don't be stressed don't you're in the uk legally so you paid for this like own it it's your right to enter it's your right to pass that border so do not let any forces stop you you know just move in you know just <laughs> But jokes apart, I've seen you know people send me messages about how tense they how should they do at the immigration border and all of that. Just be calm, honestly. That's just it. Just be calm. Arrange all your documents. Wait in line. Follow instructions. Move when it's time for you to move. And it's so annoying because at Heathrow, my experience was that they will call Americans, Canadians, you know, those with the top top passport. They have like a fast queue. Then others, Nigerians and others, the rest of people were well, just there moving slowly, slowly on a queue. But eventually you will get there. Just be calm. The thing I need to mention, which is the first thing I should have said, is that before coming into the United Kingdom, sort your accommodation out. I always say this, like there is no under bridge in the UK to sleep. You can't just come into the UK without having proper accommodation plans it can be a ground for you to even be sent back home and i'm not even lying about it like ensure that you have proper accommodation plans are you staying with family members for a few days spending when you get to your own place or you want to get a student accommodation or something and i feel like the easiest way to get accommodation for international student from any part of the world is through amba students and i'm not even joking because with amba student there is no paperwork and it's very easy to use i'm going to leave the link to amba students in the description but their prices are very fair no paperwork and that is always the stressful thing about accommodation they'll tell you bring the nepa bill bring this bring that you're not even in the country you have never signed any they're asking you for payroll just to book an accommodation and if you want to book like airbnb for international students if you're not coming as a couple and all of that it might be very expensive so just go on amber student you know the link use my link i'm going to put it in the description box go on amber student fill the forms one of the agents would definitely contact you and you know help you sort out your accommodation they wouldn't even stress you at all you do not require any document because they're sensible enough to know that you're coming newly into the country and you've not even started working at all so sort out your accommodation amber students is the best way for you to do this for those coming you know single single um student coming to the united kingdom i think amber students is your best option sort out your accommodation before coming into the uk okay <laughs> another thing is that when coming you need to prepare for the weather i know a lot of people coming in now that we're in summer that's why i can wear something like this to make my video because you know it's warm like they say everywhere is so warm that warm is hot but <laughs> So the weather is really fantastic. Summer this year has been amazing. I prefer it so much. You know, I prefer it better than last year. It's, it's been really great. The weather is great now, but if you're coming during winter, plan 
your you know check depending on where you're coming in you need to plan you know the weather you have to put the weather into consideration because the first time i saw cold was when i got to was it, um egypt oh my god i was like what god how are people even living here then i went to ifro came out of the plane and she looked at me and went, I think we are Jabo River. Like I was like, what the hell? Which cold? Am I in a freezer? You know? But now if you're coming in now, like this summer period, you're calm, bro. You're calm. You should be fine. You know what I mean? Another thing, have survival funds. I know I've said, you know, bring cash. That's to use at the airport and every transportation. But now you need to have survival funds. See. I'm a YouTube content creator and I know on my post I always tell people that getting a job in the United Kingdom is really easy and I'm not lying it's easy but however sometimes you might not get it as quickly as you need it maybe because you're trying to settle in you don't understand the system your CV is not yet you know a UK standard format and things like that so have survival funds have something you can always fall back on within a month or two like try and have cash that you can spend for two months, maybe your house rent for two months, you know, accommodation expenses, feeding expenses, transportation expenses for two months. Don't just say that you will come into the country like very broke like I did, but me, I had family members there, so I wasn't paying for accommodation and with time, people at home sent me money and I was able to like balance myself before I eventually, you know, started working. And the thing is that you need the survival funds to move around for transport, to find jobs, to attend interviews and things like that. So ensure that you have survival money. Another thing you need to know about is that you need to be prepared for the UK job market. And how do you do this? You need to familiarize yourself with UK job sites. You have by now you should know what is called indeed.com, totaljob.com, because these are sites that you are going to be finding job. Your CV has to be fixed. You can do this before even entering the country. You can Google, you know, UK format CV. You can message me if you want your CV done, but it is paid service. Yes. So you can do that, you can do your cover letter as well. You can ensure that you're just ready for the job market. So let your CV be ready, let it be ATS compliant, let it be, you know, and different CVs for different job roles, depending on what you're looking for anyway. But just be job market ready so that if you're lucky, you can get job like almost immediately. Next thing is guys, ask questions, oh, like ask questions if you don't know anything so that you'll not end up making mistakes that will be you know that will cost you a whole lot eventually ask questions there's a reason why myself and other amazing content creators that deal with you know talk about uk lifestyles and uk life uk living is everywhere so just ask questions you might send a dm and i might not reply that is why we have a telegram community i'll leave the link to my telegram circle in the description box you can join and drop questions and ask questions there i can reply faster or you know as quick as possible but if you want a one-on-one -on -one, you can also book me for a one-to-one -one clarity conversation but anyway regardless either you join telegram circle or even your friends are already in the uk don't become an island i still ask questions if i'm not you know sure if i'm not even clear so try and ask questions ask questions ask questions because UK is an amazing place to live in. UK is an amazing place to be. I can't lie. It's an experience that has changed my life positively. I'm still, you know, basking in that euphoria of living in Nigeria, even though it's over almost two years now. So it is an amazing country to be in. And I'm sure you will love it here. You will love it here. So ask questions. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this amazing video. I hope you've been able to pick one or two things from this video. But all in all, I wish you a very pleasant journey, a very pleasant flight to the United Kingdom. I can't wait. I we really, sometimes I feel like going to the airport to just especially people that you know have been able to like assist one way or the other with their visa application. Some are clients, some are friends, you know, some we just met online and we've been able to click and connect. It's always like I just like going to the airport and just standing there welcoming and receiving everyone who has been able to make the journey down to the united kingdom this august september you'll be seeing me laughing and smiling because i have a lot of people in my community relocating to the united kingdom and i feel so happy that i've been able to be part of the journey for most of them i've been able to help one way or the other despite my own personal life that i'm also dealing with because i have a job it's not easy to 
you know be a content creator but yeah i'm super excited and i want to welcome all of you to the united kingdom like welcome 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 i wish you safe flight i wish you safe journey pleasant trip enjoy yourself take pictures it might not be easy when you get in but definitely it will become better you'll be glad you made this journey that one i can promise you i hope you won't come into this country and be like oh my god why am i even here god why don't you even allow me to come to this uk that will not be your question there's not going to be any bad experience it's going to be positive vibes you're going to hit me up and say yes see girl you everything you said about the uk it is what it is <laughs> And guys, you won't believe that I'm making this video. I think it's 3 a.m. No way, you're just pretty. Okay, guys, bye. <laughs> Before I lose some training. <laughs> bye, guys. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, okay? That's all you can do for me, really. So please do that. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye.